Oh, this is the surgical KN95 that you were telling me about. So Bacillus was actually talking about this standard. It is not the GB2626 standard. It's the surgical KN95 standard, which does not have the same standards for marking on them. 3M9132. Uh, it also says NIOSH N95. So it's a dual standard mask. And we'll let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the N95 test on this NIOSH registered N95 by 3M 92, 9132. That is also a KN95. Oh shoot, this is good plastic on there. A surgical KN95. This looks like a KN95, but it doesn't say GB2626. It says GB19083, which is the surgical KN95 standard, which, according to Vasilis, I haven't verified this myself, but I trust him, does not require any markings at all. So unlike all the other KN95s that I just yada 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 about, doesn't require it. This is uh, acquired in Hong Kong by an Egyptian doctor. This is a worldwide show we're doing here. This smells like the inside of a rubber tube. Yeah, a medical rubber tube. That was a great dismount. It's pretty breathable, super strong head straps. Seems like a really good quality product. What does it say? 99.77, 99.77. Wow, with 88.6 Pascal breathability. We've seen better breathability, especially from 3M, but this Ahmed is a very good mask. Thank you for sending that.